let's see here. How should I start? I just look at these here. This I don't need. Okay. First one at the very top. Of course, I may be leaving out some headlines because I don't exactly remember. That's what my notes are for. So... Let's see, what's the most major event? I sort the events here from the most important to the least important. And then, of course, by also by the significance it is. I have a little scale that uses the, the spectrum-like fade. Red for hot means major. Blue for cold means unmajor. The opposite, or minor. So, I guess I would say... Final Fantasy VII, since I pretty much dominate a good chunk of the time. You might notice that the title here is different than this. The reason for that is because these are just basic templates or ideas. I forgot to clarify that. Put a hyphen there sometimes to clarify. And from there I just start on typing. Ain't much to it. Oh, yeah, I just now noticed this. Sometimes I do end up forgetting. This is the title, as you can tell by the title tag. I change this to the next month. To the month of the file, anyway. 2008 Joel, July 2008. Here, I type in the full name of the month. So that's the template. General design. Of course, this is likely going to get changed. So, might as well do this. <clears throat> And then I start going at it. This can take a while. I'll let you know when I'm done. Final Fantasy VII, full game with videos on YouTube. Eh, now that I think about it, never mind that. I want to start in adding in some of these other ones, like the TV tuner ones. Yeah, I would actually think that would be the biggest next major event, so... I guess I'll move this. I copy and paste to move instead. Wrong spot. Z. Yeah, I just Z'd it. Okay, so TV tuner, round one, draw. So when I envision users viewing that title, they might be wondering, draw, so what could it be? Here, we'll put the next one, TV tuner, round two, I won. It's, because if you remember from the previous entry, it said about round one beginning from looking for a new TV tuner after GameBridge died. It caused a hard freeze in my computer every time I started trying to use it. That would be a class 7 bug on my scale. If it was a bug, but it seems more like hardware failure. Since I've done the usual troubleshooting techniques and got nowhere. So, I'll go with this. Hmm. Now that I think about it, when I got here, I got thought of another one. Go to the original. Because calculations have been telling me that 4,000 just doesn't quite seem right. As I originally had. The actual value is based on 3,600, but there is a 20% margin of error. Oh well, back to what I'm at. Okay, I'm now done typing this first one. Let's 
kind of long, though, as you can tell. So, and now since I'm done, you might notice some little play here. Myself versus TV Tuner round two. Ding. Get it. Boxing match, and then got the bell ringing. <laughs> it's just a kind of humor, in a way. So, what I do is I next go into the color here and figure something out that seems suitable. And I would say that something about like that works. It's kind of a red-orange color, somewhat lightened. Of course, with colors as numbers, I can do a lot of math on them. <laughs> but, here we go with round two. It's done pretty much the same. And you might have noticed that I've got another header up here. Now, and of course, I should save as usual. And this is an annoying thing with WordPad. I click save, and the whole thing jumps to the top. That's annoying. Why don't I use Notepad, you might be wondering? Well, Notepad's got a glitch. Save it with WordWrap enabled, start typing, and for some reason there's this extra return. It's one of the bugs. Of course, I usually have Notepad up when I've got browser up and going too. Monitoring storm, because there's some nearby. But that's... All there really is to the headlines, you just jot anything up here and transform down to here, calling off what I can, and when I get to the daily entries, I can fill in extra details and make corrections. But, all in all, that's nothing much else. Of course, sometimes I do include pictures but and stuff, so... For then, I'll include that later on in the series. After a long time, I get pretty much of this done. This is about six hours in, I'd say. You might notice a lot of extra headlines up here as well. And also, you might be also be wondering what these double slashes here are for. Well, in C programming, when you put these double slashes here in front of something, everything else after it is commented out. Used for comments, which pretty much means it's no longer to be used or executed or included in the result. And you might notice a few, quite a few others. I come up with more as I come along and think about various things. So far I got seven done, it appears. Yes, I used hypercount. I count this five here in like, not even a second. The two takes milliseconds, because it's so fast. <coughs> But then you also might notice that they don't still don't include the number in the front. Why oh, it's all X. Well, because these things have been known to be moved around and stuff, like I'm thinking they should move this one up. Yeah. Because if I do move them around, then all the numbers are going to get changed, so I avoid that. Like this one here, I'm explaining about the case with Final Fantasy 7 and since I had 23 or so video segments of it if I recall I embed it in there hence the embed tag center because it's part of my style so I can center it the BRs you know they're like pressing the return enter key Sometimes I have images here, and when images are intended to have a thumbnail, I make them links, and then make the link go to the big one, but display the thumbnail. And of course, the title and the, and the other related. 